As the Suns were 3-0 and against the Timberwolves in the regular season. But Anthony Edwards told me this week that he had something special in store for his personal GOAT, Kevin Durant, and he certainly delivered on that promise, Kendrick. Absolutely, and did it in great fashion. And letting him know about it. That's the thing that you love about this young man. And he got it done on both ends of the floor. Look at Rudy Gobert sliding the puppies for, uh, for Anthony Edwards to come in with the steal and the slam. The energy was electrifying in that building. And right now, the Phoenix Suns yep. better buckle down because they in for a physical series. This had better not be a surprise to people. Because if it's a surprise, that means people were too dumb to pay attention all year. Mm -hmm. Anthony Edwards has been a beast all year. He makes plays that are superhuman. The block he made when he crashed to the floor to save a game in a regular season. Indiana. And bounced up. And the next night, on a back-to-back, -back, I believe, here in Los Angeles, they didn't want him to play. And I went across the street just to talk to Anthony, Davis, uh, Anthony Edwards to see what his mood was. And he said, I quote, yo, man, I'm young. I can bounce up. I got no problem. I'm playing in this game. And he did. He didn't play well that night, but that wasn't the point. He is indomitable. There is a spirit about him, a fierceness about the way he goes about playing, and he torched personally the Phoenix Suns in game one and all the people who don't have him in, like, first or second and maybe third team, tear your ballots up. Put a lighter to your ballots. Mm -hmm. It's embarrassing to have him not on those teams. You and I both made a call a day. We did. To somebody very, very special. We did. And we said Anthony Edwards reminded us a little bit of this brother right here. Everybody know who the hell we talking about. This man was absolutely sensational. I got up out my seat. I told Ken, I said, Kendrick, I mean, yo, <laughs> Perk, this brother put on a show. And when he was boogieing in the third quarter, most of it was on Kevin Durant, okay? Let's be very clear about that. Yep. He, didn't, he didn't go after some sub, okay? He went That's after right. Kevin Durant. And so when you look at it from that perspective, Minnesota is coming. I'm looking at them be a minus 68 with Rudy Gobert on the court in the three regular season games they lost to Phoenix. They were a plus 19 with him on the court today. Grayson Allen scored field goal less, shut him down, leading three-point shooter, in the league Did this nothing, year. Ab nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm just looking at them. Nas Reed and Alexander Walker. I mean, Carl Anthony Towns had 19 and 7 have a bad game. You look at them right now, and yes, you like what you see. Their size, their depth, yep. their defensive tenacity. But when you accentuate that with a star blossoming before our very eyes <laughs> that is put in the basketball world on notice. Excuse me, my last five playoff games, Anthony Edwards, 41, 36, 34, 29, and today, yep. 33. 34.6 points per game in the postseason. The brother's something special. When you play with He's something young, special. When you play with a young, great player like that who's emerging like he is, and you've, you've had this experience several times in your career, what does it do for the rest of the team? I never played with a young, great player like that. Right. Now, it's no disrespect to KD, no disrespect to Russ or okay. James Harden. That type of leader, that type of leader, he's the best young leader that's a superstar in the league. So all of this, the performance that all of us bore witness to, had Wilbon and I talking in the back about, you, you had him where on your MVP ballot second. this year? You had him second on your MVP Behind ballot. only Joker. Do you I think third. that he is, you had him third, do you think for, for yeah. okay, is he the best player in this series? In a series that already has at Ooh. least two future Hall of Famers. Ooh. He is, and that's why I got him picked to win the series because of what he brings on both ends of the floor. We saw him put on the display offensively, but we didn't talk about we ain't not talking about enough the leadership and what he done on the defensive side of things. Overall, the Minnesota Timberwolves. They made Devin Booker uncomfortable. Yep. They made Bradley Beal uncomfortable. They put Grayson Allen in the straight jacket and they embraced the challenge. When you talk Talk about going out there and, and sticking to the game plan, bringing a level of physicality, making them tough, tough, take tough shots. They always say, right, make a miss, don't hope they miss. That's what we saw out of the Minnesota Timberwolves this season. When you think about Anthony Edwards, he was 10th in the league in opponent's field goal percentage. When you think about Jay McDaniels, he was 4th in the league in opponent's field goal percentage. Old school Mike Conley was 31st in the league in opponent's field goal percentage. 
as far as the perimeter. Mm -hmm. They were six in the league in well, steals. Defense win championships. I, I love me Devin Booker. I need to see more. 18 points today, 31% shooting. Whenever he scores less than 20 in the postseason, they're three and, tw they're three and nine. When he scores 20 or more in the postseason in his career, they're 22 and 10. Clearly, they need his offense. He's got to show up because Kendrick Perkins, when you talk about Anthony Edwards the way we talking about, we're talking about him right now, there's only one way to combat that. You got to go out there and show that you can be that dude, too. Hey, but you, you know what? Yeah. Booker will have Booker will come back with a big game. Right. Like, I mean, you just know it. Look at his career. He'll come back with a big game. But here's the problem. The perk just just alluded to this. The size, the ability, the, the points in the paint, the rebounding advantages, I, the, the depth. I mean, it, first it's half is just a wipeout of, of, of bench scoring, yeah. one team versus the other. I mean, I... The Suns have to go to some places for some answers that I don't right. think they can 52-28 rebounding advantage for Minnesota, 13-3 on the offensive glass. Belica, what did Anthony Edwards tell you and Austin Rivers about the two guards in the league? He what said that he wanted to take on this matchup against Devin Booker, who many say is the best two guard in the game right now, mm. and take that title from him to prove that Anthony so, Edwards at this point in his career is that. So, Devin Booker, he has to do what? We've been throwing the right. word personal right, out yeah. there. You yeah. got to take, take it personal. And he will. Right, right. By the way, I think he will. I think he will, but let's not sit him. here and let Bradley Beal off the hook. He's getting paid. You've been in the postseason for the first time in eternity. You know what I'm saying? You got 15.6 yeah. to We need to see more from him, too. KD needs some help. Drop 31 on 65% yep. shooting. He needs some help.